There's lots of discussions either for or against evolution, but what's missing from these debates is the element of time. Just how much time is involved. All the evidence from Earth and space indicates that the Earth is over four and a half billion years old. That's a huge amount of time. It's hard for us to get our minds around how much time that really is. So let's try something. Let's pretend to download the entire history of the Earth from its birth 4.6 billion years ago till today. Every time the tan progress bar below moves, every half a second, equals 11.25 million years of Earth history. Okay, go. The Earth forms, the Moon forms, and then for the first 500 million years, the Earth is pounded by a massive meteor bombardment. The surface is molten lava. The atmosphere is toxic volcanic gas. It's a hellish place. The meteors finally slowed down, and the Earth's surface began to cool, enough for all the oceans to form. Around this time, life first appeared. The first life was tiny, the simplest bacteria. They could only scavenge nutrients from the seawater or steal them from each other. But for the next 800 million years, they ruled the world. The only land was volcanic desert islands, which slowly merged into continents that began to drift, and still do today. Earth's only life, the simple bacteria, had been running out of food. But they were also exchanging genetic material amongst themselves, generating new mutations. One of those mutations was green. It could produce its own food in the sunlight, and exhaled oxygen. It was a revolutionary moment for life on Earth. The new green bacteria spread through the oceans. The oxygen they gave off rusted all the metals out of the water and then slowly began to leak into the atmosphere. Oxygen poisoned the older bacteria and caused the first major extinction crisis on Earth. But other microbes mixed, merged, and engulfed each other and created a new kind of advanced cell, the eukaryote. These new cells had a nucleus and a complicated internal structure parts of which came from other microbes which they had consumed alive. Eukaryote cells would eventually build all multicellular life on Earth, but not yet. The Earth was in stasis for over a billion years. Lifeless continents merged and slowly broke apart. Invisible microbes practiced their chemistry, and oxygen slowly leaked into the atmosphere. Finally, a breakthrough. A new, faster way to swap genes was invented, and things began to speed up. Eukaryotic cells began to work together, and multicellular algae appeared, the first visible life. Other eukaryotic cells were forming colonies, ancient ancestors of all animals and fungi. But for some reason at this point, the whole Earth froze over and then overheated at least two or three times, and all life was almost wiped out. But it bounced back hard, and with a protective ozone layer and an oxygen atmosphere in place, ocean life exploded. Coral, arthropods, mollusks, fish, the invasion of land, plants, amphibians, reptiles who can lay eggs on land. Mammals first appear, and a huge extinction crisis, which opens the way for the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs rule, birds appear, dinosaurs disappear, mammals, primates, hominids, us. 